the lord be with you and with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to saint luke glory to you lord at the time jesus said to his disciples and i tell you everyone who acknowledges me before men the son of man also will acknowledge before the angels of god but the one who denies me before men will be denied before the angels of god and everyone who speaks a word against the son of man will be forgiven but the one who blasphemes against the holy spirit will not be forgiven and when they bring you before the synagogues and the rulers and the authorities do not be anxious about how you should defend yourself or what you should say for the holy spirit will teach you in that very hour what you ought to say the gospel law of the lord praise to you lord jesus christ My dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ there is a beautiful story which i am sure you might have heard a number of times but i would like to narrate once again to you to elicit an important lesson from it there was this particular elderly lady who had a habit of reading the word of god every day and meditating on it so this was a daily routine One day as she was reading the word of God she happened to read the gospel of Matthew chapter 17 verse 20 which says even if you have faith the size of a mustard seed you can say to this mountain to move from here to there it will move so having read this particular verse and meditated on it she wanted to test the efficacy of the word before she could retire to the bed So she peeped through the window and saw the barren fig tree which was standing for a long time bearing no fruit and she said to the tree tree i command you that you be uprooted from here and be planted elsewhere saying this she went off to sleep the following morning she got up early and peeped through the window and saw uh, to see whether the fig tree is still there in the same place when she saw she was really surprised because the surprise was the fig tree did not even move an inch from that place it was in the same place so seeing this she made a statement saying i knew that this fig tree will not be moved from here my dear brothers and sisters in jesus christ it is a very simple story but as it has a very strong message for all of us the message is very simple faith is never merited it is a free gift given by god we need to make use of this free gift and grow day by day in our faith and reach to the level of maturity in our life according to st john paul the second he says the greatest that means the practical atheism is one of the greatest enemies of our time that means as christians we think and we claim that we have faith like the woman in the story but when it comes to practice it is not so sometimes so dear friends today the readings tell us about the expression of faith the first reading we hear um about the faith of abraham the father of faith when god made a promise to abraham he said i will make your descendants great and also you will be the father of many nations humanly speaking dear friends it is impossible because both the couples uh, abraham and sarah they were both were advanced in age but it is not possible for them to uh bring an offspring but here human divinely speaking it is possible because the gospel of luke says for god nothing is impossible only thing that we need to have is faith for his first reading says that he believed against the hope that means his prayer will be answered and god will make his promise 
fulfilled. That is the faith that Abraham had in God. So dear friends, in time of difficulty, in time of need, we also make prayers to God. So our prayer should consist of three things. First of all, our prayer should have faith, a faith that can move the mountains. Secondly, we need to persevere in the prayer because the moment we ask, we may not get the things at times. We need to persevere. Like Abraham, he persevered in his prayer till God answered. And also, third aspect is we need to hope. Hope. Because even though we may have a very strong faith, but we don't, if we do not have a hope, our faith, our prayer will become very futile. And in today's gospel, dear friends, Jesus is placing before us a condition. As baptized Christians, we all have an honest. The honest is very simple. That means we need to bear witness to Christ and also we need to make the profession of a faith that Jesus is Lord and my God. But at, uh, at times, sometimes we may escape this honest. But Jesus is saying, if you acknowledge me before men, I will also acknowledge you before the angels of God. If you deny me before men, I will also deny before the angels of God. So dear friends, our Christian life is a call to bear witness to Christ in all the circumstances of our life. We need to bear that mark of Christ in our life because faith is a gift and we need to nurture it and go, grow day by day in it and reach to a level of maturity in life. Today, dear friends, as we have come around this Eucharistic table to partake in the Eucharistic meal where the ordinary bread and wine turned into the body and blood of Christ. Humanly speaking, it is impossible for us. But when we see and also believe in heart that God transforms this ordinary bread and wine into body and blood of Christ, it happens because we see with the eyes of faith. So dear friends, today let us pray that we may always cling on to God in all the circumstances of our life and bear witness to Him. And also we pray that God may increase our faith. Amen.